the components required for this experiment are servo motors esp32 board connecting wires and connecting cable Now log into the Blink.Cloud website. Then go to Developer Zone. Here click on New Template and give the template name. Control Servo Motor with ESP32. And select Hardware as ESP32 and Connection Type as Wi-Fi. Then click on the Done button. Now go to Data Streams and here we need to create 4 data streams. The first two data streams are for the slider input and the next two is to get the gauge output. So click new data stream and then select virtual pin. Here give the name as servo1 and pin is v0 and maximum value is 180 and the unit is degrees and click on the create button. Now again click new and create the second one. Here the, we can give the name as servo2 and virtual pin number as v1 and maximum value is 180 degree and the unit is degrees. Click on the create button. Now the third one. So this is for the gauge output. So here we can give the name as servo output 1. And here the pin number is v2 and maximum value is 180 and the unit is degrees. Now create the final one. So this is for the servo motor 2 output so we can give the name as servo output 2 and here the pin number is v3 and maximum value is 180 degree we can select the unit as degrees and click on the create button now go to web dashboard here we need to drag two slider widgets and two gauge widgets Now go to the settings of the first slider and select the data stream as servo1. Click save. Now select the first gauge. Here we need to select servo output1. Click on the save button. Now go to the second slider settings and select servo2 as the data stream. Click on the save button and then go to the gauge of the second. Here select the data stream as servo output2 and here also click the save button. Now we can save the template. Now go to devices. Here click on new device and then click from template. Here we can see the template which we created. Select the template and click on the create button. Now copy this template ID, template name and authentication token and paste in our program. Here we need to install this ESP32 server library from Tools Manage Libraries. Then enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password. Then we can upload the program to the ESP32 board. For that, go to Tools, select Board, ESP32 Arduino, and select ESP32 Dev module. Then select the port. And now click this arrow button and upload the program to the ESP32 board. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the ESP32 board. Now we can set up the Blink mobile dashboard. For that, download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store. Now once you open the application, we can see the template which we created from the Blink web dashboard. Now click on the template, control servo motor with ESP32. Here go to the settings icon. And from the bottom, click on the plus button. And here add two slider widgets and two gauge widgets.
Now rearrange the widgets. Now click on the first slider and here choose the data stream as servo1 and in the design we can give the title servo1. Now go back. Now click the first gauge and here select the data stream as servo output 1. Now go back. Now click the second slider. Here choose the data stream as servo2 and from the design give the title servo2. Now go back and click the second gauge. Here choose the data stream as servo output 2. Now go back and again click the back button. Now the setup is completed and now we can check the output. 